Now, what was strange about this is that this man's speeches and directions for the whole world had to do with new times upon us as human beings, new directives for global peace, and the need to give up current citizenship for world citizenship. This man continually and constantly spoke of world order and the benefits of all men dwelling together in peace. Now, even though I was disturbed in the dream, I was also being pulled into this because it sounded very, very good. World peace sounds good until you see the cost. Let me tell you, there is no world peace. I constantly heard the word new order, world order, and new times. Final thought from you, because you say openly in your essay that you're reserving judgment on all of this as we learn more over the next several weeks. But one of the things that you talk about in a broader perspective is global powers trying to rearrange themselves into a new global world order. I think we have to watch it carefully to see whether in fact this is the opening of a new moment in international history. So my freedoms and my patriotism were instantly being eroded from my understanding. Our other big story, a clash between church and county, a place of worship being told to take down a sign with an American flag and a message to support the troops. The church put up this sign to cover an old billboard that was run down. However, support the troops is becoming quite controversial here in Nevada County. Why would you, uh, you, you knock something that's got an American flag on it that says support our troops? Uh, I have no idea. I really don't. Fourth grader Gracie Brown and her brother Luke put a lot of thought and effort into their Christmas cards. It included Merry Christmas. And um, when you open it up, it says, thank you for your service and the American flag. 52 students at Grace Academy in Prosper spent Friday morning making these cards. I hope you have a blessed holiday. They planned to hand deliver to bedridden veterans at the VA hospital in Dallas this morning. When Gracie and Luke's mom found out they wouldn't be able to, she was outraged. This wasn't the country that I grew up in that you couldn't say Merry Christmas. So we found out not only could you not say Merry Christmas, you couldn't say God bless you in a card, and you couldn't reference any scripture. People were buying right into this plan that this man was releasing through the airwaves at staggering rates. No resistance. No one was fighting it. No one was saying anything publicly. I, I, I can't tell you if the airwaves were uh, controlled to the point where you couldn't come on and say certain things. You, you can't just get on the three major networks and say what you want. Superstar patriarch of Duck Dynasty, Phil Robertson, put on indefinite hiatus now by A&E for comments that he made to GQ magazine about homosexuality. A month after some heavy lobbying by gay community, uh, A&E suspended Robertson for his personal comments made to GQ magazine by Barbara Walters, along with the Klan, described his family as Bible thumpers who just happened to end up on TV. In the article, he calls homosexuality a sin, and I'm quoting, Everything is blurred on what's right and what's wrong. Start with homosexual behavior and just morph out from there. Bestiality, sleeping around with this woman and that woman and those men. Don't be deceived. Neither the adulterers, the idolaters, the male prostitutes, the homosexual offenders, the greedy, the drunkards, the slanderers, the swindlers, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. On the top of them, I began to see cameras, little white uh, overlooking hot dog kind of looking cameras. And in the dream, I, it was revealed to me that these cameras knew the whereabouts of everybody's vehicles. The FBI is now revealing its next generation, if you will, uh, effort to weed out the bad guys. As you mentioned, $1 billion. They've put it to the test so far in several states since February. The facial recognition system compiles mugshots, DNA information, iris scans, and voice recognition, which matches surveillance images with photos of known criminals. It can also track suspects in surveillance footage by honing in on their faces in a crowd. Several Public advocates are also wary of the project, fearing it will eventually extend beyond criminals to include images of the innocent. It remains unclear, though, if images of the general public will also be included when it is nationally implemented by the year 2014. Very unusual things began to happen with law. I began to see local municipalities, and no longer were police departments the enforcers of the law of municipalities. But military police driving very unusual looking vehicles that I now know to be called Humvees. Uh, these these uh, vehicles that I saw were black. 
new crime fighting tool is so big some might call it a tank yeah i think they are now it's really cold and MRAP. I checked on that. And tonight, these massive military vehicles are in the hands of four mid-state police agencies. A handful of police departments are now getting them free of charge to protect their officers. Hendersonville SWAT team already has two Humvees. The problem is, they're not armored. The MRAP gives them that much-needed protection. We're playing the painted block just the same as our other tactical vehicles and put police markings on it, and that's probably all we're going to do. I see how God's hand guided me. And I began preaching many years ago. It is not with any thoughts that I be preaching to God's audiences. God has done this. Our country is in great need of a spiritual awakening. There have been times that I've met, as I've gone from city to city, and I've seen how far people have wandered from God. Of all the things that I've seen and heard, there's only one message which can change people's lives and hearts. There is a way if you come by the way of the cross. I know you've done many people that dispute that. People don't want to hear what their sin is. To many people, it's an offense. The cross is offensive because it directly confronts the evils which dominate so much of this world. These four blood moons happen on a high holiday four times in a row with a solar eclipse in the middle is beyond the null hypothesis of probability. This is something that the Bible, using the sun, the moon, and the stars as a communication system to humanity, says something is about to change and world history is going to change forever.